if you've been enjoying my free lessons for a while and you've gotten value out of them, then maybe you'll consider contributing to my channel through that new cool looking super thanks button down below. That'll let me know that you want me to continue them, you're getting a lot out of them, and it'll help me eat because I'm really hungry. Feed me, feed me. Even though I dropped the stick, I kept it going. <laughs> I kept it going. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the Week. If you're new, my name is Quincy Davis. Thank you so much for stopping by. And you'll notice that, hey, I'm different than that drummer that you saw in the intro. The drummer in the intro is the guest drummer for this lesson who's going to talk about second line drumming and what the big four is in second line drumming. So you want to stick around for that. He's incredible. And he breaks it way down, easy to understand. As always, leave comments. I love hearing from you. I read them all. Trust me, I read them all. And I do try to get back to as many of you as possible. All right, so jumping into this lesson on second line drumming. Second line drumming is the mother of all drum set grooves. And I say that because you can trace any groove you play, pretty much any groove you, you play on the drum set. As it relates to more of the Western American style of playing, you can trace it back to second line drumming. Therefore, whatever you play um, groove wise, it's going to feel a lot deeper if you can understand and if you study second line drumming. My good friend Jeff Clapp, an incredible drummer, wonderful person, uh, make sure you follow him. He breaks second line drumming way down in terms and ways that uh, are easy to follow and understand and will inspire and motivate you to practice second line drumming. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's get set and let's go. All right. Yeah. My man. What's Jeff up? Clapp. My man. Thank, Thank you, you for dog. Thank you, dog. <laughs> so Jeff Clapp is here. Um, he just gave a wonderful clinic at the University of North Texas for the percussionists there. Yep. Good time. Um, Good time. I want to thank you for doing that. And now he's here to kind of talk about groove and specifically Jeff Clapp. He lived in New Orleans a long time. Long so time. even though he lived in New York as well, everything you, you do mm -hmm. is infused, infused. with Great the word. New Orleans spirit and, the, and that approach to playing grooves. Absolutely. Um, and it's important that we as drum set players understand that New Orleans grooves and mm -hmm. second line is the foundation. Mm hmm of everything, yeah. mostly everything we do on the drum set uh, in a Western style. So, yep. so yep. Jeff, I invited Jeff here to, to kind of talk about that, the importance of that, and specifically something that they call in, in, in New Orleans, mm -hmm. as they call it, the, the big four. The big four. Not the, the big three. Not the big three. Definitely not the big two. But not the. Not one. But one is important. It gets back to one. But the big four. four. One, two, three, four, 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 right? Uh -huh. And so f f to make it simpler and to understand it, in reggae, you got the big three, right? Okay. Three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, right? So yes. that, you're really playing something, but when you go boom, it's like a reset. Okay. In my mind. Yes. So when you go... Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? When I go, uh, I'm I'm taking a breath. I don't go four. One, two, three, four, four. One, four. I'm go four. Okay. And I'm tap dance. Four, one, two, three, four. Four. If that doesn't make you want to move, then I don't know what will. Four. Right? And then you boom there's a tension that happens so I the see. tension is released on the four on four and i think that's something that is you can you can trace that tension and release mm -hmm. concept through so many so different much. styles of music but like i said new orleans mm -hmm. style music new orleans music is the foundation mm -hmm. of everything we do honestly yeah um, especially rhythmically 
And mm-hmm. so this makes sense that it's built into the groove, that tension and release. Absolutely. Yeah. So so can you just play a little bit now mm-hmm. and, and just play and see if you can kind of pick up when he releases or comes back to that big four. All right. Okay. I dropped the stick. I kept it going. <laughs> kept it going. Kept you know, it you going. Got kept it going. And uh, <laughs> the show must the go. The show on. must go on. And people keep dancing. And I'm that. not cutting that either because I want you to see that. Still grooving. So all this is is a march. James Brown. It's all based on the same. Uh, continuum, quarter note. That's a great word, right? Continuum. continuum. No matter what you want to do off of that continuum. The big four continuum. You can, you can paint it in different ways, and mm-hmm. that's kind of what you're demonstrating. Yeah. Can you just go into different grooves? And yeah, on that? just that the whole time. I hope this kind of gives you an idea of the flexibility. If, mm-hmm. As long as you you have that foundation right. of the continuum, a the continuum, continuum. I love that word. Agreed a t- continuum between everybody in a band and mm-hmm. the band you're playing. There's so many things you can do with it. There's so, so many much. places you can go with it. Even with these, with the brushes, right? Okay. Four. kind of a reset so yeah. I use it a lot and especially like even that even though that was on two yeah. it's a big four for me to reset my time to give it a little lift and the big four should never ever be stagnant mm. if it feels stagnant it's not right okay that makes sense that makes a lot of yeah. sense. yeah and so it, it for me it's a reset it's kind of a calming down you know and, and it just kind of helps yeah. a release. Yeah. yeah, great. This is. I mean, I think that every drummer should study uh, mm-hmm. New Orleans drumming because it's so important to everything that we do as drummers, mm-hmm. regardless of what our quote unquote specialty is. Right. Um, everybody should study New Orleans drumming, mm-hmm. and um, the Big Four. Understanding the Big Four will open up your playing and help mm-hmm. you create those the mom- moments of tension, mm-hmm. rhythmic tension. As long as you release it yep. on on a beat, beat on a big beat beat four for example, or it can be another beat that you release it, but the concept is the same. So, anything else you'd like to say, son? Q Q Q. Oh, nice sticks. 